Hey gorgeous, welcome back to Life in Style. Today's video, finally back again, is going to be my weekly plan with me. Um, this planner, if I can show you quickly, is an Erin Condren. It's an old Erin Condren. I put my cover that I got um, from the Stylish Planner you know, on this, but as you can see, it's very thin. It's a 2017 planner. Um, the reason why I got this is because you can see here, it's 2016, 2017. The reason why I got this is because I just do not at all do not like the new layout. It's just not my, not my kind of strange. So I purchased one off of Amazon and because I usually use sticker kits anyway and wipe things out and up top as well, as you can see, the way I usually do, um, buying an older planner and then just kind of making it my own was the way to go for me. And I'm actually happy that I did that because I spent probably less than half what a new one is gonna cost me. So the kit that we are using this week is a gorgeous kit from Paper Muse Crafts. It is called Arctic. And as you can see there, it's got those gorgeous pale pinks and blues, um, some white and beautifully, beautifully foiled in hollow foil. Look how gorgeous that is. Um, so I'm just going to run through this pretty quickly. As you can see there, there's the first page, your headers and bottom washi, which again, just foiled gorgeously. Then you've got date covers, functionals, boxes, date dots at the bottom, and then sidebar weekly, um, habit trackers, heart checklist flags there, and some more boxes and functionals. So I'm going to be bringing in some other things, of course, but this kit is one that I definitely wanted to use, and it is perfect to use. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I've already whited everything out the way I usually do. Um, and this was, I think, January 16th, which tomorrow, Monday, is January 20th, um, Martin Luther King Day. So we are just gonna work with that. And like I said, it was kind of a no-brainer for me knowing that I will white out and use date covers and date dots and bottom washi and all that stuff. So for me, it is absolutely fine. And I may purchase another one just to have for next year if the formatting continues to stay the same. I just don't like it. And I know that I'm not the only one to have said that um, about this year's formatting. I wish they would have just kept it the same. Um, whether or not that was a calculated move, I, I don't know. I can't say, you know, I'm not in charge of the company. I'm not making the decisions, but I don't know. It just seems a little suspect to me, I guess because the format is perfect and whether you use sticker kits or not, people did like them and they offer different ones, vertical, horizontal, hourly student, I think teacher as well and some other ones. Um, last year was my first year ever getting an EC and I'm glad I did because it is a nice planner and again, since I use sticker kits, they work beautifully with the actual planner but they're expensive, so if you're not gonna be using them, trust me, don't waste your money. So, so much has been going on. I think the last video I uploaded was about a month ago and it was a makeup video. <clears throat> I've been doing some um, kind of Halloween things, some cosplay makeup looks of some characters that I really like. Um, like Poison Ivy and who else did I do? I did Poison Ivy and something else and I can't remember what the heck it was, but there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and get to these date dots. Um, but like I said, it's been a month and <clears throat> excuse me, a lot's been going on since then. I have moved again, <laughs> um, but the move was necessary because the apartment that I had before was kind of one of those things where I just needed to get out of the marital home and I needed to get someplace. And it was a nice apartment, don't get me wrong, but it was expensive. And I know that apartments are expensive, especially if they're upgraded and, um, you know, in like a, a complex and that sort of thing. And, and I, you know, moved into something like that, which was pretty expensive. And as the year continued to go on, you know, I realized that I was just constantly behind on bills and it was just, it was not faring well for my anxiety and depression and all that other stuff. So um, I did move into another apartment, same town. I have to stay in the same town for my son's school. And I think I've made mention of that before. 
and <clears throat> and then um, so I am gonna use you know what I've never done before I didn't realize what it was for I don't know if I can do it this time I may have too much going on but this down here like when they do an extra people put it sometimes in the in the um, sidebar so let me go ahead and let me see how I'm gonna start this I think I would rather have it at the, all the way at the bottom and then have it a little bit lower from the top black line if that makes sense um, so we're gonna do that so to make sure you guys can see me here without actually putting my head in the way um, so yeah so I was moving um, emotionally dealing with the holidays and not in a, <laughs> necessarily a good way um, so I had a lot going on but the move went well and um, I am happy to be in this new place it's an older apartment it is a two-family home I'm on the first floor and you know as soon as I saw it I'm like god this is so small it is just so outdated but something about it called to me. I can't put my finger on it. I can't exactly tell you what, but it just felt right. And I'm in the place now and there's still some organizing to do, but for the most part, I am moved in. I mean, you know, I've been here now for, I think, I'm gonna have to do it this way, which I hate. Um, I've been here now, I think for about a month, maybe a little over, but definitely about four weeks or so. And I am so comfortable here. Like, and I'm glad to feel comfortable here. Um, rooms are smaller, yes. I had two full bathrooms in the other place. I have one bathroom here. Um, but again, it's just, it feels like home. I am so comfortable here. I feel, when I'm sitting on the couch in the living room, I just feel, it feels right. I don't know how else to put it, but it feels right. Um, I also feel like I've gotten through some emotional hurdles this holiday season um, with the divorce and that sort of thing. And I feel, I don't know, I feel really, really good. And I just, I don't know, I just feel so calm and so, if everything feels so different lately. So I am going to put the quote box up on the um sidebar which says snowflakes are kisses from heaven it's so so beautiful i love it so we're gonna put that here now i did try to get up as far as i could near the january as you can see you're still gonna have those dotted lines but i think to do anything else with them was gonna be a little bit hard so we're gonna leave that there all right so let's see i'm gonna start with the little deer which I think are so so cute so we're just gonna do that down the middle to keep things simple this time around <laughs> yeah and I just feel I don't know it's so hard to explain but I just I feel okay you know a year ago I was a mess three weeks ago four weeks ago a mess and I just, I don't know, have gotten to a point where things are just relaxed now. They're calm for me. And I'm glad for that. You know, I need that. I need to move on. I need to plan for my future, which I do have a lot of things in mind for my future. I started eating better um, once the New Year started. And I think I've said it before that I'm not one for New Year's resolutions. But this year I truly needed to <laughs> be able to do that for myself. And um, because I needed to, you know, I kind of had a had to kind of hunker down and really dig my heels in and, and, and come up with with something that was going to be right for me. You know, I had to I had to have a plan in place. And I feel like I've like I've put that together mentally and um, I'm working towards that now. So I feel good with that. Um, I do miss planning. I, I couldn't do a lot, a lot of stuff with the move, you know, and just getting it together. I still have my other apartment, so <laughs> I'm actually going to finish moving out this coming weekend. So I've got 
still not a lot to do it's just it's one of those things where just the back and forth and back and forth annoy the shit out of me <laughs> i think i'm gonna use this one because this one i think i can use with any other kit these are antlers so these might be more conducive to winter slash after christmas so there go the full boxes down which look gorgeous and then for glitter headers, I'm gonna use these um, glitter headers here. So they're almost like washi headers because they make a, um, a seam there. Usually glitter headers don't do that, but because they are beautifully foiled, I am absolutely going to use these to cover that up. And so, you know, a lot, just a lot's been going on. Like when I say a lot, it's everything you can think of and more with the move, with work, with, um, figuring things out for this year, figuring things out for the future, and I feel like I've, again, I feel like I've, like I'm doing that very well, and I've, I've got my ideas in place, and nothing is going to stop me. So I feel really, really good about that. The, you know, the biggest thing I feel good about is the eating better. I already feel different. My belly's going down. I feel lighter on my feet, and just feel like. You know, there's there, these things you have control over. And I have a very, unfortunately, a very bad relationship with food. Um, I always have because I love to eat. But the thing is, of course, anything and everything in moderation. And food and me, especially the good sweet stuff, <laughs> I do not know the meaning of the word. All right, so let's move on to our headers. And we're going to do our today's throughout the week like I usually do, and then our to-dos up top on the weekend. So again, I, I have to empty everything out. I have to finish up on Saturday, and it's just one of those things where you want to already be done with having to kind of go back and forth and back and forth. So I'm dreading it, but I'm also happy that it has to happen because I really am sick and tired of, you know, going to the apartment every so often to get things it's just the fact that i work such late hours it's then have to go to the apartment do things and then have to go to your apartment and do things so i'm just it's just one of those things where i'm just out of energy at the end of the day um i'm thinking though that tomorrow what i think i'm going to do i wasn't supposed to go to work tomorrow but i think i am going to go to work and then i wasn't gonna i was going to get out early on friday but i think what i'm going to do is go into work tomorrow and take Friday off because my mom's off on Friday and my sister works a second shift so I can probably get the stuff done on Friday instead of Saturday and then have the weekend so that's what I am planning to do I didn't want to go to work tomorrow but I don't have to go in first first thing in the morning unless I go in first thing in the morning but I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna do that so we'll figure something out um, I don't know, we'll figure something out. But other than that, everything else has been going well. I love the new area that I'm in, which is very, very important. And um, just have no issues with it overall. All right, so let's go across the week with the work, no work type of situation. So I think, let me look at the work stickers that I was going to use or that I am going to use, which are so, so cute. So I'm just going to figure out how I'm going to layer those. And those work stickers are these new ones that I got from the GP uh, studio. It's the mini work icons, as you can see how cute. So it's almost like a little flat lay. Um, and since I'm going to be doing that just Monday through Thursday, I think I'm going to use these to layer them on just as something a little different. So actually, I can probably, yeah, these are pretty big to pull off. So let's see how I want to do that. I think that looks a little funky. So let's just do it against the corner there. And we'll do that across the way. Um, yeah, but I like the area I live in. It's close to everything, close to the highway. Um, and I really like it. I'm very comfortable here. And it just, you know, it's one of those things where everything happens for a reason. And I always, always believe that even the bad stuff and people are like, really, truly believe it. I'm like, yeah, I may be hurting and crying and blubbering during <laughs> the bad time. But once the smoke clears and my mind is back to being mine, then I think 
for the most part, it becomes apparent what the reasoning was or is for something happening. Again, good or bad, good or bad, it doesn't, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't see it as any different. All right, so let's go ahead and put down the little work icons now, since we're here. Oh, that's so cute. I wonder if I should layer them down, down here. Yeah, let's do that. That is really, really cute. Although I'm wondering if I go to work like super, super early, then I can get out super, super early. It sucks ass because I hate to freaking get up super, super early. But it might be in my best interest. And then I could have the day to myself. Well, not the day to myself, but... Because there's really nothing tomorrow I can do in the apartment. But I will have to go into work tomorrow. I can't do tomorrow and take Friday off as well. I prefer not to. Okay, and so Friday, we're done with these work stickers. So Friday we are going to be, we'll say day off. So let me see what I can... So I know we have flags. Yeah, we do. All right, why don't I use this one that has the little mountain scene on it? And then we can just do it down this way so that it has the mountain scene on it. And then the day off stickers that I'm using, I haven't used these in quite some time, are from Hoodie Lally Day. And as you can see, they're in silver foil. And like I said, because I hadn't used them in some time, I wanted to use them today. So, all right, so let's do that. So Friday will be the day off. And busy but if we get busy early there should be no issue with that all right so I think I am gonna do that. I think I'm gonna go to work really early and then get out really early and then I can come home and do stuff because I need to start spinning and spinning like exercise on a spin bike so that's what I want to start doing what is it tomorrow Wednesday and I could probably do it Friday first thing in the morning unless we get together first thing in the morning I got to see but at least tomorrow and Wednesday for sure so let's put that down um, in the evening because it's usually in the evening so I'm going to put to do stickers tomorrow and then for exercise I do have little spin bikes so let's see I wanna so I think I'm gonna use these little arrows here because we're just going to layer those so I'm going to use a blue I'm just going to put it right there and then the spin bike deco that I'm using is from Piper Paper Company as you can see there so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that right there because I know that's what I have to do and for Wednesday, we're going to do that as well. And what else on Wednesday? I don't think too much. And what I really want to do, what I really want to get to, of course, which I think most people want to get to anyway, is get to a point where I'm not doing everything every single day or doing things every single day. I've been doing really, really well with keeping my... Um, my um my apartment really clean and that sort of thing so that the daily stuff is not too cumbersome and i've been doing a really good job of that i'm actually proud of myself been doing my dishes daily i haven't been leaving them in the sink been uh you know been just trying to live a different life you know and the next big thing for me to do is to get my ass out of the house <laughs> and start going out with my friends because I haven't been doing that. I haven't seen my friends in so long because I just haven't had the capacity, the mental capacity, emotional capacity to do all that. So I haven't done it, but that is going to change. So on Monday, which is tomorrow, what I'm going to do is do an Instagram post for the planner. Um, you know, this plan with me and upload that into into Instagram. Let's see. Actually, I guess I can just use any quarter box. We'll do that right here. Yeah, I think no matter how much it hurts, I think I'm just gonna, um, 
I'm gonna go to work early tomorrow, so we'll do Instagram posts. We know that that is the planner portion of it. And I think tomorrow what I also wanna start doing is start watching The Witcher. I still have not started watching that on Netflix with Henry Cavill, who is um, my husband. He doesn't know that, <laughs> of course not. But I know that, so, um, you know, all that jazz. Um, do I have any stickers for that? I don't think I do, darn it. Uh, I don't have a watch sticker. I'm going to have to get something, so I'll get a sticker at another time. For Tuesday, I do want to journal. I have been uh, keeping up with that, and I'm excited and proud of myself because I think I said it before, I don't want to just journal when things are going bad. I want to journal a couple of days a week and just kind of write things down, write down plans, write down thoughts, things like that. So, let's do to do at the bottom here. And then I'm gonna use one of these boxes that are smaller than the half boxes you can see there. So I'm gonna take the pink one and put that right there. And then I have the journal. I usually use a Traveler's Notebook Deco from Piper Paper. As you can see, this is a very big sheet. I think I have another one of these and then small ones too um, because I just use them. So put that there. And then I also do have journal script and this is from Sarah Elizabeth Prince. Um, as you guys know, I do um, PR for Sarah Elizabeth Prince. If you use the code ELBA30, whenever she's not having a sale, you get 30% off the entire shop. Also put my name ELBA in the note to seller and you will get my um, exclusive foiled freebie. So um, she has amazing things. And let me see, I think I may have to cut off this little thing here. One of the things I love about it, but then it gets really, really long, is the little kind of dip on the left and the right there, which is just so fancy and I love it. But if we're gonna be using an icon, I just have to cut that dip off. So we'll just do that there and that there. So that'll be journaling for Tuesday. And let's see, Wednesday, I wanted to spend, we have to work, and it's going to be washi Wednesday. What I'm going to start doing, yes, it's one of those things where you continuously put it down and you really think you will do it at some point or another, um, is start doing Instagram posts for washi Wednesday. I love seeing people's washi um, like posts and things like that and how pretty they look, so I want to start doing them myself. So I am going to take one of these quarter boxes with a little bit of, um, actually we'll do it down here. I love doing it with, um, is that straight, hopefully? I don't know, the way I'm looking at it is just so weird. Um, and then we have, so this one is from Sa Saucy Stickers Company, and it's a Washi Wednesday script. As you can see, you have different ones. So you have Washi Wednesday with the actual Washi, and that without it. So I actually have washi here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this, it's in the kit. So I'm gonna use this one from the kit. And I am going to put this down here. And then I'm gonna use the Washi Wednesday script without the washi. There we go, these are kiss cuts. So you just have to be a little careful. And then I'm just gonna put that right there. And there's Washi Wednesday. How cute, right? All right, so moving on to Thursday working. That's a big day because we get paid, then I've got to pay bills, and I'm getting a manicure and pedicure that evening as well. So let's see how we're going to do this. All right, so payday. I got this script. Okay, just wanted to see what script I have. Um, I think I'm going to use... I guess we're just going to go quarter box in it. So we'll do that there. And then the payday scripts I have are from Beyond Paper Flowers. The shop thing is very tiny there. But this is the script um, page that I have. And I have several script pages. Um, payday and laundry and no school and all kinds of stuff. So... We're gonna grab that, as you can see, a very fancy 
font and just beautifully kiss cut, which I really, really like. I think that they do such a pretty job with that. So we're just going to put that right there. Payday. All right, so we're done with that. And then we also have to pay bills, do groceries, and the manicure and pedicure. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, so I have my groceries. I'm going through my scripts here. Okay, so. I do have some nail polish um, icons here. These are from Crafts by Towie, one of her $2 Tuesdays. I actually just ordered a bunch more of these because I really do like them. So these are in silver. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a half box for that because I want to write down manicure and pedicure. So, let's see. That's smaller than a... Well, I guess so. I kind of want to use something with a little bit of... um. And then our to-do. So let's put that down there. We're just to-doing right across the way here in the evenings. And then I'm going to put that there for the manicure and pedicure, which I am in dire need of. And that's another thing that I decided to do is I'm going to start doing some self-care for myself. So I'm just going to do that there. We're done with that. And then groceries and pay bills. So, there is uh, credit cards here in the, uh, in the kit, which I'm going to use. And let me just see how I want to I wanna do that. So, actually, you know what? I'm going to use like an appointment box. So, let me use that. Use this one here. And then I can just write in pay bills. So there's that. And the last game before the Super Bowl is happening today. I'm a San Francisco fan, so of course I'm dying. I'm not looking at the score. <laughs> I check it from time to time. I, I just, I can't do it. It's just too much pressure for me. And, and if you're familiar with football and you know about the 49ers, you know exactly why. I think the last time they won a Super Bowl was in 1995. I'd just gotten out of high school and I was um, and my, I was a freshman in college, so I'm 43 now, so there you are. All right, so the groceries that I am using, the grocery, um, actually, I think I'm going to use the groceries, uh, gr little grocery icon from the kit, which is a little bag with, like, bread and parsley or something hanging out, and then the script is going to come from this beautiful sheet from Paper Crown Prince Co., so you can see you have a very nice selection so you can do either just the icon or the icon in the script or just the script which I like so let's do that at the bottom here and <clears throat> we can do this so I'm gonna put this a little lower because the icon for the groceries is a little big in the kit I don't want it to get in the way of the nail polish. And I usually order my groceries, so just put it like that. And then I'm just gonna take groceries because it's thin and small. Perfect. That looks great there. I love that. Okay, so we're done with groceries. And then Friday we've got a lot to do. So that's the day off. We have to pick up the truck, get the, store, the stuff to storage, and empty that stuff out. So I think what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to use one of these um, checklist boxes that has the three hearts, because um, I think I can just write in everything that needs to be done that morning. Because again, if we get started early enough, we can get it done. My son's going to be in school, which is perfect. I don't have to worry about him. Just get things done and honestly be home by the time it's time to, to get him off the bus and be done with it. And that's what I'm that's what I'm shooting for. Friday evening I can do laundry and I have to bring over a china cabinet from the old apartment. I decided to do something a little different in my pantry so I can be doing that. So let me put down what do we do with laundry? Do laundry. And there's a basket here which is pretty big too. <laughs> 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blue box, even it out with Thursday box, then use the laundry icon from the kit, which is very cute. And let's see, we can do it there. And then another Piper Paper Company script page, as you can see, do laundry script. I ordered a bunch of stuff from her recently, and um, I still have to upload, edit and upload the haul, but you guys will see some of the stuff in there. All right, so there's that, and then I'm going to say <sighs> work in laundry room. Because um, that's where, it's a huge laundry room, and that's where the china cabinet is going, and I need to also do some reorganization in there so uh, let's see what I have as far as any any icons for something like that no I don't think so which is fine we'll just write that down to reorganize the laundry room or something like that that's not a big deal all right moving on to Saturday I definitely want to do my spin that day and Sunday as well. So let me get the spin icons back out. And what had I used them with? With the little with the little arrows here. So we're gonna do that. Even though they're above, I wanna keep a little bit of um, consistency with how I put these down. That's the last thing I need to do is start the exercise. I started with the eating well, and I um, I was just sick for a while. I had like a lot of asthma, and um, also laryngitis, if you could believe it. And I've had a cough that, and I still have it lingering just a bit. But whenever I do exercise anyway, I have to take my asthma pump beforehand, so that's fine. But I literally I didn't have a voice for about almost two weeks. Um, usually just squeaky, very high pitched, and then at one point I didn't have anything. And then I had a lot of coughing and, and like asthma and that sort of thing. So I was just like, listen, you guys, just too, too much. It was just a lot. Um, okay, so those are those two days because, like I said, I know I would want to do that for the weekends. And then Friday, I wonder if I want to do that. You have to go to the store to get some. I'm going to leave myself reminders on the sidebar this week. It's going to be a little different, but I've got to get some painting supplies. I've got to go to Michael's and I've got to get some curtains for the laundry room, which I do not have. And I think I may do those at Target. So that will be for Friday, even though that's kind of jacked up. I'm going to get started early. My son gets on the bus at eight. I'm going to be out of here as soon as he's done. I'm out and um, I want to get that stuff done. I want to be done by 12. And I can be done by 12 with three or four people. So my sister, my mom, let me see if my brother can help and myself. All right, so what did I say? Saturday we're spinning. We are going to paint my office on Saturday. So we're going to do that. Oh, let's use this one. So we'll use that one. We'll put that down here just so it can kind of be even. All right, so we're gonna paint the office, pack up baking supplies. That'll all be done Friday, actually, as I'm doing the laundry room. All my baking supplies are out, and I think it's just a waste because I don't use them. It's so rare, so I think I'm just gonna package everything up and put them in storage. Uh, okay, so Sunday... All right, so Sunday we're gonna actually finish the office because I have to then put everything back after I've let the paint dry, curtains, things like that. So that's for finishing up the office. Uh, I would like to journal on Saturday. Do we have another to-do? We don't, but that's okay. We'll do a today. That's all right. And what did I put the other journal on? Okay, so it's kind of like this box right here. The size box right here, I should say. So 
So yeah, I'm back to, like I said, filming and I'm gonna be consistent and it just, this move came out of nowhere. Like I applied for the apartment, I got the apartment, I started making moves like a couple of days after and I just started coming in. I was painting, cleaning. I didn't get in right away because the boiler or the furnace was broken, one or the other, I forgot. So the landlord had to, of course, fix it. And so I couldn't get in right away. Um, so I just, you know, did things as I could do them and came in. I painted the living room. I cleaned up. I brought in some stuff. And so it was a kind of a slow going situation, but it worked out in the end. And um, like I said, I'm very happy here. So it's, it's cool. We're good. Everything's good. All right. So there's journaling. And then Saturday, what did I say? Okay. Paint office. Oh shoot. I put that on Friday. <laughs> See, this is what I get for talking all the time. I do actually have my undo here. So let me do that, get that off, and I'm gonna be right back. So I actually didn't need the undo. I was able to lift these up. I just did it nice and easy and just kind of moved them over so we could still write in here what we need. All right, so Saturday we're journaling. Sunday we're finishing the office. And I think what I wanna do is plan the following week. Oh, wait, hold on a second. We gotta do some filming around here so let's see paint so I think what I'm gonna do is I may film Friday night and that way I can paint early because once I paint then I've got to move things around and I don't want to be sitting in here filming in the in the paint so all right so let's do that I know I have to do the we can switch that around so let's see we have a little camera there what do I want to do? I want to film my plan with me. So, yeah, so let's just use the camera that's in the kit. I know it's like so much and then it's all of a sudden you have no space. Some weeks it's all the space in the world and other weeks, nope, too much to do. Because again, I'm going to be, I really am going to be done early with the movie. There's not a lot to do. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not a lot. So Friday I can film paint and then Sunday we are going to of course upload so what I'm gonna do is while all right while <clears throat> the thing is uploading we have a laptop in the kit as well so while the thing is uploading my video I can I can um, put the office back together because this takes its time once you hit that upload to uh, to YouTube it takes time so all right and then we'll do the office down here we'll get it together I promise all right so there's that and then what I want to do is iron for the week. I want to start doing that. I used to do that a long time ago and I think I've talked about it and it's just so much easier to do that and have everything ready for the week where I'm not worrying about it daily. So I'm going to, that is crooked and that is going to drive me bananas. Oh, also I checked the score. 49ers are up against Green Bay with about eight minutes. Okay. That is still crooked. With about eight minutes or so left in the second quarter, 17-0. Uh, so I'm a happy camper. I hope they can hold on to it because you never know, especially after what was the, the Titans game last week, was it? I think they, did they win this week? They were down like 24 and then they came back and beat the other team by like 1,000 points to 21. I was like, what the frick? All right, so this paper blush bar dainty chores sheet is the one I'm using. As you can see, it is beautifully foiled in hollow. And I've got my little iron here, so I'm going to use that. And just put that there. It looks like a little Monopoly piece. And then do the ironing on Sunday. And that's what also I'm trying to do for this new year is really try not to make my days so useless if that makes sense and this is i'm just talking for me i um have a lot of fatigue and stuff like that and so it's not you know i'm constantly 
um, fighting with myself as to, um, you know, doing things or laying down and doing nothing. And it's just, I've got to fight it. I've got to fight it. So we're going to move on to the sidebar. And the washi that I'm using is one, I believe, that came with the subscription box last month, not December. Actually, not December. I think this was November. This may have been, oh my God, I can't even get this to, this is really, really bad. I can't even get this to focus, right? Um, but it's a light blue with like these squiggles. Oh my God, that is really bad. Yeah, one of the main orders of business this new year as well is to get a new camera because this is this camera, I have to keep it because it's my only camera. But really all I wanna do is just pitch it out the window. Um, it is a pain in the ass, but you could see it there. You see like the squiggles, so that is in hollow, which is really, really pretty. And I thought the blue would look perfect with this kit which it does so i'm just going to cut this with my slice tool and there we are not too even but that's okay all right so like i said this week is going to be a little different um i'm going to actually add a part that says evening routines um the first thing i am going to do is dinners though so i'm going to put this the this week um header Put it too far off that way. That shouldn't be. It should be even here because this is even. Maybe. <laughs> shouldn't be such a perfectionist, but there you have it. I may just have to like slice that little part of washi off. Um, so I am going to do my dinners. And then I am going to do. an evening routine for myself and let me see if I have a very thin piece of something like a uh... yeah so let's do the washi again just want to get this even and I think what I may do um, do an evening routine for myself because I need to and I've been needing to, and I need something. This is the thing, and I've, I've spoken about this at length before, is that when I come home, it's already late. So of course I have to bathe my son, I have to walk the dogs, I have to make sure my son has his, he has like a snack right before he goes to bed, so I make him a bagel, and I hardly have time for myself. So for me, my mental state at that time is, if I go to bed now, I feel like I'm just working home bed, working home bed. And I get very, very anxious about that situation. So I found a small washi strip that is not too much larger. In fact, I think the perfect size, like the, uh, the header there. And so for me, and the evening routine script I'm using is from another Piper Paper Company script sheet, as you could see there. And I thought that on the sidebar it would make more sense because it's something that I want to do every single evening, not just one evening. So I thought that this would make sense to do it there. Um, you know, I have to come to the realization that my evenings are going to be a little shorter than most, but I have to do an evening routine. So I am using a checklist box and it's from an old Paper Muse Crafts um, kit, as you can see there, but I thought that this would be um, pretty and um, you know go very well with this kit. So I'm just gonna take the light blue and use that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down the things that I wanna do on a daily basis in the evening. Okay, where are we? Oh, it's gonna be a little over, that's okay. It's gonna cover that a little bit because the script was a little long. That's all right. And then Warshi. And so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I've already told myself, I said, you know what, this is what your life is. You're not rich, you're not sitting home doing nothing. You gotta go to work, you gotta come home, you got stuff to do. 
Um, that being said, though, I am going to be cutting my hours per week just a bit. So I was going to start this Friday, but I'm not because I'm going to take it off. But I was going to start this Friday where I leave at 2.30, and that's to make it here in time to meet my son's bus and be done with my day. And then probably in about another two months, I'm going to add Monday to that. So, <clears throat> oh my God, I don't know why I can't just get this. You know what I mean? Just get this even. That's annoying. Um, and then be home to get him off the bus and that'll be the day. And that way I ha at least have two days a week where I know I can do things and it doesn't feel so, so late. Let me see if I can put a... Um, I think I can. I just want to put this down to um, to cover some of this because I think, let me see, is that going to be too much? If I can get this down and then get the, the habit tracker down, then we've got the sidebar done. Yep, perfect. And so, you know, one or two days a week, well, two days a week that I come out early, three days that I come out a little later, I'm just, I have to, I have to have a good mesh and I have to have a good um, balance between work and, and home and life and self-care. And I think that that's going to do it for me. So as you can see, or as you can hear, <laughs> there are a lot of changes coming for me um, <clears throat> this year. So I think that is going to do it. It wasn't... Um, too long of a plan with me I don't think because I, I feel like I have like I usually have more things to put down but what I wanted to do more than anything was trying to use as much of the kit as I could which I feel I did so I am going to write in everything else off camera as I usually do um there really is no deco in this kit I don't think to put down let me see did I miss some there is not so I'm going to write in what I need to write in off camera and then I'll be back and we can finish up. So I'm back and everything has been written in. Um, as you can see, we've got a, a ton of white space just because there isn't a lot of things to do on certain days. It, it's kind of all building up to the to the end of the week where um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, um, probably just Thursday through Sunday are gonna be my busiest days this week. But again, this is something that I need to do because I, I tend to, like I said, be fatigued and tired and I'm just like, I want to lay down. I don't want to do anything. And I'm like, no, you have to make plans. You have to get things done. You have to move. So this week is very, <clears throat> a very good example of that. I did the sidebar here. I filled in my dinners for the week and then my evening routine, like bathing my son, walking the dogs, making sure I wash my face, brush my teeth, floss, gargle, all that good stuff. And I know that kind of seems, seems a little mundane, but for me to see it written down will, will, kind of put into my mind that, okay, this is your evening routine. This needs to get done. Try to keep that on schedule. So for me to have that written down, I think is going to be very, very helpful for me. Other than that, that is going to be the week. I'm going to zoom you in just a bit because I know you can't see um, everything. I think I may have hung this camera a little too high, but I think that that's going to change once I paint the office. So I'm going to be moving some things around, but I want to do a little foil wiggle there for you so you can see how beautiful that is. All of Paper Muse Crafts kits for me are absolutely gorgeous and this is no exception. So there you have it. That is the kit called Arctic and that is my week, January 20th through the 26th. Happy to be back. I hope you're happy to have me back. And as usual, no matter what you're doing this week, I hope that it is a peaceful, peaceful one for you and a kick-ass one for you. You always want to make sure weeks are kick-ass. So if you have not done so, please subscribe to the channel and also click the little bell so you get alerted as to whenever I upload new content. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.